Hey guys, welcome back to Robot Ratings. Um, we're going to be showcasing for the new season Mix and Match this year. So a new intake type has basically uh, been emerging for about the past week or so. In our previous videos, we've always talked about like using um, Ben Lipper's design or using an intake or a claw. But uh, so conveyors have been taking the stage recently. Um, as you can see here, all of these were posted to our Discord river. Basically, um, the intake kind of uh, picked up the tin and it gets dropped down. You can see here. And so these intakes, they're kind of slow. And if we want to actually see a quick one, we can go over here. You can see the pins go in extremely fast. And if you want to, you can make it even faster by just... Uh, raising the gear ratio. And one thing that's really cool about this is that if you look at uh, last season's bots, they're actually really similar. So this is Magic Kid's first competition robot for a rapid relay. And although it's for a completely different season, the bot structure is still really similar. And this year there are a lot more size restrictions. So that's 11 inches wide. But over here, this bot is actually fitting into it. And you can see even though the ball is way larger, but the conveyors still fit in size with these side plates. So if you wanted to increase the efficiency of these conveyor bots even more, you could lower the size of the sprockets. You can see here, these sprockets are really big. Um, you can lower the size of the sprockets and then just increase the gear ratio to uh, keep the same speed. And that would save a lot of space so that you could do like a double conveyor. So you can do two stacks at a time instead of just one. And I think that a conveyor might actually be the next meta for early season because you can see that it just intakes uh, really smoothly into the bot. And you can actually get to 369 points by just using three colored stacks, no beams at all. And 369 points is really high for early season. So... I think a lot of people will maybe not even ever reach 369 points. So a conveyor just being like this, I think it's really the play for early season. I know I've said it for like all of the previous videos, but conveyors does seem like one of the best choices that you can have. So I would say consider conveyor just doing pins instead of uh, doing the beam mechanism, which we showed in our last video. Um, but 369 points is a lot, so I'm gonna confidently discourage you guys from building double reverse borbalize and claws like this anymore. Um, if you want to do a claw base, uh, do the 180 mech that we showed in our last video reviewing 3030J's bot. Conveyor will definitely be a way better choice for teams that don't want to score beams. So just uh, don't build a claw if you're not going for beams. So yeah. Check my pants, they say true man. They say true man. Blue pants, blue pants, blue pants.